This is Harsh Rules, I'm Ben Harsh, and today we're going to take a look at some expansions for Hannibal and Hamilcar. These two expansions are for Hannibal and Hamilcar, designed by Mark Simonich and Yaro Andruskovich, and released by Phalanx. These two expansions were originally part of the Kickstarter for the game. Each of these expansions come with a new general miniature, a general card, and two strategy cards. When you see the final products in just a moment, you'll notice a slight difference from these original mock-ups for the Kickstarter. Let's first take a look at the expansion called Price of Failure. The general in the Price of Failure is compatible with the Hamilcar scenario. However, the strategy cards in this expansion are compatible with either Hannibal or Hamilcar. This general is for the Roman player, named P. Claudius Pulcher. Pulcher has the Admiral and Aristocrat trait. As a special ability, this general may use their entire move of four spaces for naval movement. The ad copy for the game quotes the following about the history behind this general. Claudius Pulcher was a Roman consul who, after ignoring a bad omen, was responsible for the Roman defeat at the Battle of Drapana in 249 BC. In this tragedy, the Roman military lost 93 ships with all their crews. So how did this tragedy occur? Well, in ancient times, strategic decisions were often evaluated by religious ceremonies with questions posed to the gods. In this particular instance, food was placed before sacred chickens and their behavior would guide the final decision for the Romans on whether or not to conduct this battle. However, the sacred chickens refused to eat, and this was interpreted as meaning Rome should not conduct the battle. Filled with rage, Pulcher grabbed the sacred chickens and threw them into the sea, saying, Since they do not wish to eat, then let them drink! The sacred chickens all drowned. However, later, when the battle failed, it was blamed on Pulcher, who the Romans believed had angered the gods with his sacrilegious act against the sacred chickens. Obviously, Pulcher was not a big fan of chickens, and you can see him in this figure conducting some chicken-related violence. The strategy cards that come with the Price of Failure expansion are also similarly themed around superstition. The first strategy card, Price of Failure, is a Roman event counter that can be played against a Carthaginian general who just lost a battle. That general will be removed from the game unless the Carthaginian player pays PC markers equal to that general's battle rating. The second strategy card has a Carthaginian event counter called Bad Omen that can be played against the Romans prior to a battle. When this event is played, the Roman player must make an attrition roll against his army or see his general's battle rating reduced to 1. Overall, these are some interesting new cards as well as a quirky general to add to your game. The second expansion is for the Carthaginian player and is called the Son of Macedon. The general in this expansion is only compatible with the Hannibal portion of the game. The two new strategy cards are also focused on Hannibal. The Son of Macedon adds Philippos, aka Philip V, as a general to the game. Some brief history about Philippos. Philippos was the king of Macedon who joined the Second Punic War as an ally of Carthage. This Macedonian king built a fleet of 200 warships and was ready to sail to Italy. Unfortunately, this didn't go quite as planned. Rome reacted quickly with a sea blockade and inciting a war in Greece, forcing Philippos back. However, this did provide an opportunity for serious reinforcements for Hannibal in Italy. This is reflected by the requirements printed on the back of Philippos' general card to bring him into the game. To bring this character into play, first, the Macedonian Alliance event must be in effect and the Carthaginian player must play a 3-op card. When this occurs, place Philippos and 5 combat units in any friendly, unbesieged port in Lucania or Apulia. However, if the Macedonian Alliance event ends, Philippos and his combat units are removed from the game. Also, if Philippos is inside a besieged walled city, 
the city is flipped and all other generals inside the city are displaced. If Philippos is displaced, he is eliminated and the Macedonian alliance immediately ends. The Carthaginian player must also randomly discard one strategy card and card 9b can no longer be played as an event and is removed from the game. The Hannibal strategy cards in this expansion are themed around stealth. The first card has an event called Desert March, and this can be played if the player controls Numidia Major. This event allows a player to move an army of up to five combat units from Ecosium or Zuckabar, if controlled, directly to Gades. However, the player needs the role for attrition prior to arrival. The second strategy card in this expansion has an event called Hidden Cove, and is themed Mago Finds a Hidden Harbor. This allows the Carthaginian player to move one army of up to five combat units to or from Genua as if it was a port. This move is always successful unless countered by a card. This also allows the player to replace the tribe in Genua with the Carthaginian PC. Once this is completed, the card is removed from play. And this sums up the second expansion which gives the Carthaginian player a good general as well as some strategy cards with special movement events. I hope you've enjoyed this quick look at two small expansions for Hannibal and Hamilcar by Phalanx. While these additions do not revolutionize the game in any way, they do provide some extra flavor if you're a huge fan of Hannibal and Hamilcar. As I said earlier, these expansions were part of the Hannibal and Hamilcar Kickstarter. However, I picked up my copies at an online board game retailer. So if you'd like to add these to your game, they're not as impossible to find as other Kickstarter exclusives. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Not only do I appreciate the support, it also really helps the channel. I'll also be looking forward to any discussion you might want to have in the comment section. And as always, I'm Ben Harsh for Harsh Rules. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.